Well, I think, I think the, uh, one of the problems with current um, medical care in the U.S. is that we have what I call pinball medicine, where the patient is uh, actually the pinball, going between doctor and, and, and place of, of their office all around a town, back and forth. Might take weeks before they figure out what's going on. And what we really need is what uh, uh, the American Society of Breast Disease represents, and that's a multidisciplinary effort uh, that is vertically integrated and seamless and efficient. And there are places around the country that do that, but they're the exception rather than the rule. And if we're really going to address uh, changes in medicine, we have to, f at, at least one of the big fa factors we have to include is the way we approach uh, the patient flow in our uh, care system. And I like to think of it as a funnel, where the patient comes in the top of the funnel and goes through a very logical stepwise progression seamlessly down to a diagnosis, and if the diagnosis is cancer, for instance, then they go into a second funnel, which is the therapeutic funnel, and it's almost like Allstate. You're with the good hands people, you'll never get dropped, and you'll know what's going on at all times. The current state, I think, of, of most uh, areas of the country uh, is not, unfortunately, that way. Well, I think the American Society of Breast Disease is already demonstrating by action how the various disciplines ought to work together and, uh, and, and, and decrease any turf issues and friction between the specialties such that they can all work in a uh, similar uh, organization. It may not actually be within the same bricks and mortar. That would be preferable. But a similar organization where people are following the protocols that are agreed upon by all of the specialists involved and the, and, and the uh, outcomes of the patient interactions are collected and evaluated on an ongoing basis. Only then can we make sure that we are continually improving how we practice medicine or if we're practicing it to the standards that we should be adhering to. It's very, very important to have evidence-based medicine with outcomes analysis. The uh, improvements in, in uh, uh, breast, breast cancer diagnosis and therapy have been phenomenal over the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, we've truly emerged from the dark ages of breast, uh, uh, breast care, and uh, the woman can now uh, expect a very, very uh, uh, efficient workup and diagnosis of whatever her problem is, whether it's breast cancer or something else, and it, but if the diagnosis is cancer, she can expect therapy, which will almost certainly now cure her. And in the past, you know, the, 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 the folks would say, oh, you can't say cure. We have to talk about five-year survival, 10-year survival. Now, I'd tell patients, no, we're going to cure you. This is now a curable disease. This is like catching pneumonia, and you take some antibiotics, and you'll be over it. Now, it's a bit longer than a, than a course of antibiotics, but the bottom line is we can cure breast cancer. The, and, and the American Society of Breast Disease is a perfect example of the very best doctors in each of their disciplines, all focused on breast disease, who bring those changes to the American uh, female population. It has been an exciting time. It's going to be even more exciting over the next 10 to 15 years. But the ability to go from my aunt's era where a diagnosis of breast cancer was a death sentence to now you get these uh, breast cancers at such a small size, they truly can be cured. And, and people are actually speaking that word now, cure of breast cancer. Uh, now certainly there are breast cancers that we still see even today that are going to be tough ones to cure. But the very, very exciting thing for the women of America are they should no longer hang their head with any feeling of doom and gloom when they get diagnosed with breast cancer because the odds are they're going to live a long and fruitful life.